Metamorphosis is a process of transformation that occurs in multiple stages, where an immature form develops into an adult form. This process involves a change in the form or nature of a thing or person, which can be brought about by natural, mystical, or maybe supernatural means. In the case of Blanza, he has evolved from a commercial realist to a progressive expressionist abstract visual artist. The transformation of his works from a traditional to a captivating signature form is genuinely remarkable. Lander P. Blanza's contemporary artwork is considered ultra-modern. He portrays landscapes, mountain ranges, cityscapes, and rock formations breathtakingly. Blanza's artwork is characterized by a heavily textured presentation of muted and natural colors. Blanza is undoubtedly a gifted artist of his generation. Blanza's early works showcase a variety of genres, reflecting his development as an artist. He began with realism, which he practiced during his younger years as a commercial artist. At that time, he took on commission works for jeepneys and tricycle bodies, which were popular in the early 1980s. After returning from abroad as an OFW, he focused on his painting career. This coffee table book features his best works, demonstrating his gradual transition from realism to expressionist abstraction. His artistic evolution is evident, and he has now established his own signature style. Sinardinas and a Pasihiro 24 by 30 acrylic on canvas, collected by Ricky de Roca, the owner of Lydia's Lechen. The Rizal Arts Festival, then headed by former NCCA chairman of Visual Arts Nimiranda, launched a project supporting the nation's call to support the Super Typhoon Yolanda victims. The RAF event was a success, as the proceeds were all donated to the institution handling the assistance. Lander P. Blanza bagged the first prize in the 2014 Rizal Arts Festival National Painting Competition. Celsi 30 by 24, acrylic on canvas. Honorable mention, AAP National Art Competition. Extreme, 36 by 48. Honorable mention, 2017 GSIS National Art Competition. Collected by Ricky de Roca, owner of Lydia's Lechen. 2 Red TIA Mianen 24 by 36. Collection by Luna Hotel, Vegan City. Finalist, 2015 Luna Hotel National Art Competition. Manny Pacquiao is a legendary boxer who holds several remarkable records. He is the first and only eight division world champion in boxing history and has won 12 major world titles. Moreover, he is the first boxer to win the lineal championship in five different weight classes, and he has won major world titles in four of the eight glamour divisions flyweight, featherweight, lightweight, and welterweight. He is also the only boxer to hold world championships across four decades, from the 1990s to the 2020s. In July 2019, he made history again by becoming the oldest welterweight world champion at 40. He achieved this feat by defeating Keith Thurman to win the WBA super welterweight title, and he became the first boxer in history to become a recognized four-time welterweight champion. B. Yeyang Dagat, 30 by 60, collected by Ricky de Roca, owner of Lydia's Lechen. Tupada, 24 by 48. Acrylic on canvas, collected by Mayor Nin Ajeeler of Las Piñas City. Posada, 36 by 48. Acrylic on canvas, collected by Mr. Rogelio Meltier Jr. New Dawn, 48 by 48, 2013, oil on canvas, collected by Mr. Philip Wygonko. Ipneg, 24 by 48, acrylic on canvas, collected by former Senator Ramon Magsaysay Say Jr. Ilocana, 36 by 48, acrylic on canvas, collected by Mr. Ronald T. Silhouette in green, 36 by 48, acrylic on canvas, collected by Mr. Ronald T. This is a part of Blanza's Translayering series, a surrealist genre that he has been pursuing since he arrived from a nine-year deployment as an OFW. He has done numerous pieces, making him one of the local pioneers of surrealism with floral subjects. Igorota, 36 by 48, acrylic on canvas, collection by John Santos and his friend, Reminiscing 1 and 2, acrylic on canvas, 
collection of former Senator Ramon Magsaysay Jr. Friendship Beyond Boundaries, 24 by 36, acrylic on canvas, finalist Rizal Life in Europe National Art Competition 2014, sold in Europe by Mr. Virgilio Cuisan. Bukobake 13, 36 by 24, acrylic on canvas, collection of attorney Alma Fernandez Malionga, Sweet Mangoes, 36 by 24, acrylic on canvas, collection by Belgium ambassador Michael Perrys, Bukobake 14, 36 by 48, acrylic on canvas, collection of attorney June Baldovino, Bukobake 15, 36 by 48, acrylic on canvas, collection of attorney Jun Baldovino, Beyond, 36 by 24, acrylic on canvas, collection of former Senator Ramon Magsaysay Jr. Musical series, 40 by 30, acrylic on canvas, Alabang Country Club collection, The Beatles pop art, 48 by 36, acrylic on canvas, collection of attorney Mackie Cassinio. Birch Tree Series 3, 36 by 19 each piece. Acrylic on canvas, collection of former Senator Ramon Magsaysay Jr. Another amazing work by Blanza, Mother and Child Series in heavily textured canvas, a testament of his high level of artistry. Blanza's Psychedelic Tree Series showcases his mastery of texturizing canvas, making his works captivating indeed. This 48 by 36 painting is a testament to his creativity and mastery of the human anatomy. Samamalupig di Pasasil is a paradigm of his versatility. The Big Catch is another fantastic cubism creation by Blanza. Acrylic on heavily textured canvas. Lander P. Blanza is considered one of our time's most significant contemporary artists. He has developed a unique style that was never seen before, which combines a heavily textured canvas with zinc-costed metal sheet inspired by cubism. This results in an elaborate and captivating image. Blanza's work is genuinely ahead of its time. The Running Horses painting, in particular, is associated with progress and achievement. It signifies speedy growth and advancement in various aspects of life, including career and business. Financial prosperity horses are also linked to financial prosperity and wealth. Rock formations are often viewed as a representation of the transition from one life to another. Sometimes, a rock formation or a stone-carved boat is seen as a vessel that guides the soul's journey to the afterlife. These structures are timeless and unaffected by the cycles of life on Earth. Height is often associated with power and authority. Tall rock formations are usually seen as more dominant and imposing. In certain cultures, height is considered a symbol of leadership and superiority. In this page, his versatility is evident. The Dalagang Pilipina, 48 inches by 36 inches was done meticulously. Heavily textured and captivating indeed. According to car enthusiasts and collectors, a vintage car is an old one that is often considered a car from 1919 to 1930. These enthusiasts have different classification schemes for the age of cars, which enforce distinctions between antique, vintage, classic, etc. In this series, the vintage car was superimposed onto a textured background, with subtle colors emphasizing the subject even more. Cubist sculpture is a style of art that represents three-dimensional objects using non-Euclidean geometry. This is achieved by shifting viewpoints of volume or mass in terms of spherical, flat, and hyperbolic surfaces. Bas relief is one of the many forms that this style can take. Many pioneering artists of the 20th century have created countless images of cubist art pieces. Landa Blanza reinvented this form by creating amazing bas-relief sculptures in the cubism style. Blanza's style has evolved into a contemporary form, featuring a subtle yet progressive presentation that complements modern homes. A ridge is a long, narrow, elevated geomorphologic landform, structural feature, or a combination of both separated from the surrounding terrain by steep sides. The sides of a ridge slope away from a narrow top, the crest or ridge crest, with the terrain dropping down on either side. The crest, 
if narrow, is also called a ridge line. The ridge represents high aspiration, a considerable challenge to achieve, therefore, this constitutes achieving success. The ridge, therefore, means a success beyond trials and enormous tests. In arts, this means triumph. As the night fell, the skyscraper illuminated its windows one by one, creating a mesmerizing display that resembled music for the eyes. The skyscraper symbolizes resilience and determination, proving that one can overcome obstacles and shine like a bright star. In the art world, this represents success. The term, skyscraper, refers to tall buildings that are continuously habitable, usually with 40 floors or more. Skyscrapers have been historically developed as symbols of prestige, demonstrating the power and wealth of a city or nation. They also respond to urban density, allowing for efficient use of limited land resources. As cities become more crowded, skyscrapers enable the vertical expansion of urban living and working spaces. They positively impact modern life by conserving space and promoting economic activity. However, they can also have adverse effects, such as obstructing light, enhancing the heat island effect, and contributing to socio-economic stratification. Skyscrapers represent many things, including technical achievement, economic prosperity, urban congestion, and civic and corporate pride. Landa Blanza has created a signature style that is perfect for modern living. Skyscrapers are icons symbolizing power, strength, and triumph in art. Undoubtedly, Landa Blanza is a pioneering visual artist in this contemporary presentation. He is versatile and the pride of this generation.